Hi, I'm Hans Stephenson from Dakota Angler and Outfitter, and today I'm going to tie a pretty easy fly, but it's a good place for beginning fly tires to start, and it's a versatile enough fly that anybody should be tying it, regardless of their skill level. We've been using it for a long time in the Black Hills. It's called a crystal woolly bugger. We use a crystal chenille or an Estaz for the body. I've already started with a uh, 5262 Tiemco hook that I've put a lead wire uh, base on to give it some weight. I'm going to wrap over that lead wire. You could use a bead here if you wanted to do a bead head version. Uh, most people probably fish this as a bead head. After I've got that lead wire on, we're just going to cover up that lead if we can with some thread wraps. I'm going to tie in a marabou tail and I want that marabou tail to be about the same length as the hook shank so I quickly measure that just make sure it's roughly the length of the hook shank switch over and make my tie in point tie in that tail and then I tie that marabou down the length of the body trim out the extra marabou at the front And then take your thread and just clean that up. Come back to your tie in point. I'm going to clean that up just a touch more here at the front. Now I'm going to add some flash to the tail. This is kind of an optional step, but I'm going to take some crystal flash, three strands, tie it on the near side of the hook. And then adjust it, fold it around, and tie it on the far side of the tail as well. And I'll just lift those up, trim them so they're all about equal with uh, the tail. Now that I've got the tail tied in and the flash tied in, I'm going to add some wire for a ribbing. Just reinforcement later on. After I've got that tied in, we can tie in our body material, which is going to be Estaz. And this I'm just going to tie in a little bit at the end of that piece of Estaz right at the back end of the hook. Then I can go ahead and wrap my thread forward up behind the eye. And once I'm at that point, I can go ahead and wrap my Estaz forward. I like to fold back that Estaz as I wrap the next wrap just to make sure it stands up and is as full as it can be. I like to fold that back just to make sure each wrap stands up. You get a nice full body that way. And wrap that all the way up to the front of the hook. When you get up to the eye, we'll take and tie that off with a few good thread wraps. And then trim out our excess crystal chenille or Estaz. At this point you can just kind of fold everything back here at the head of the, the hook and do the old fly tires cheat to make room behind the eye there. Crowded it a little bit. Now, I'm going to take a hackle, just a saddle hackle. We'll tie the saddle hackle in right at the front of the hook. Make sure you get that tied in nice and securely. Trim out the extra stem there. Now, make a full wrap 
of that hackle at the front of the hook and then just start winding back to where your wire rib is once you get back to the wire rib you're going to come across the hackle just slowly work your way forward through the hackle kind of wiggle the wire as you go down into the body that way it won't trap as many fibers and when you get to the front of the hook you're going to tie off your wire as well make sure you get that tied off nice and secure and then trim off your excess wire with the back of your scissors and then trim off the excess hackle at the back of the body again I'm going to do a little fly tires cheat just to make sure I got enough room to finish the fly without covering up my eye make a little head at the front of the fly and then tie off And then we can trim off our thread but not a terribly hard fly to tie it's um, very 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 useful in uh, lots of fishing applications you can fish it in the streams here in the Black Hills or just anywhere you fish um, you can fish it in lakes you can fish it over on the Missouri River in pier for smallmouth and uh, largemouth will eat it it's a very versatile fly a little different than the basic woolly bugger uh, basically just because of the Estaz body uh, I tied a root beer colored version today which was another good fly for carp as well but uh, just an all around fly probably the best colors to tie it in are this root beer color for warm water smallmouth and carp and then for trout we fish it mostly in like an olive color and uh, and a black color so we would do black uh, marabou with black Estaz or olive marabou and olive estas and there you go a crystal woolly bugger again i'm han stephenson from dakota angler and outfitter give this fly a try and try out the other flies that are on our blog and if you need the materials give us a call and we can help you out 605-341-2450